Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you the progress bar component. If you can guess what this does, it's a bar that can, you know, provide some progress, you know, on a particular task. So if you're loading something, for example, so go to the toolbox, go to progress bar right here, and let's just drag this on. So there we go, there's our progress bar. Let's just run it and see what actually happens. So it's just empty because there's no actual progress set in there. Let's make it you know, a little bigger. If we go to properties and we can set you know the value. So if we set the value to 50, click enter. As you can see, it is you know at 50 or halfway, I should say. And that's pretty darn cool. And obviously, if we resize this, it's you know it's a percentage. So the actual progress side of it will go up as well. So you can change the steps as well, you know, you know what it will step in. So you can do minimum maximum value, you know, and then the rest of the properties are pretty basic stuff. So what you can do is programmatically change this. So let's add a button. So add a button, button, button. And when we cl click the button, so there, and we are going to do, progress bar one dot we are going to change the oh that property called again I forgot so let's just go back to properties it's called value <laughs> pretty simple dot value we are going to change that we're going to make it equal to itself so we're going to do progress bar one actually we can just do this operator plus equals and we'll just do 10. And I'll actually set this to zero by default. So if I run it, when I click it, as you can see, it adds 10. So that is really cool. And you know, all the other properties can be changed programmatically as well. You know, all pretty simple properties. You know, it's the same sort of principle. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And, and as an extra task, what I want you to do is add an extra button, which when you clicked, it takes away from the progress bar. And at the moment, I've done it in steps of 10. What I want you to do is have, let's say two buttons or four in total, two just handle making it go up and down then the other two basically just handle changing the step. And as a, you know, even an X task have a label that displays the step mount so you can see what the plus and minus buttons will do. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.